Hello, you're watching my media prime television. My name is Fon Quinta, and this is the afternoon edition of Prime Flash coming to you live from our studios here in Cameroon's economic capital. Well, and our rehabilitation works are currently underway to restore circulation between Babaju and the West Region and Santa Northwest Region of Cameroon after a part of the road collapsed following heavy downpours on Wednesday, March 24, 2021. Road users have been using alternative means to get to their destination after heavy downpours left the road practically impassable. The senior divisional officer for Bambuthu's division, Frank C. Franklin Etapa, visited the site earlier today. In a similar story, passengers and other road users traveling in and out of the northwest region remain stranded following the collapse of a part of the stretch of road linking Bamenda to the west region. The road cut off after the checkpoint in Santa. Passengers are now forced to take trek long distances through rough terrain to get to their destination. Still on the effect of yesterday's downpour now in Yabasi, in the nation's economic capital, the road has been divided into two around Pika Transit. Many road users have been left stranded while others had to turn back as crossing to the other side is still impossible. Now at least 30 shirts have been reduced to ashes at the Bamenda food market after heavy downpours yesterday. Sources said the flames which began at about 11 p.m. and the night of Wednesday, March 24, 2021, was put out thanks to the intervention of firefighters' unit. We remain in the northwest region of the Republic of Cameroon and still on the effect of the heavy downpours on Wednesday, March 24, 2021, that left parts of the road in Bambele impassable. The road that is under construction by the Edge Construction Company was cut off as a depression appeared on the highway sinking two cars. Following the incident in Bambele yesterday evening, the company working on the road expansion was seen carrying out some rehabilitation works. Now the Minister of Territorial Administration Paul Athanganji has instructed the 10 regional governors to shut down Pentecostal churches where pastors preach against the respect of anti-COVID-19 barrier measures outlined by government. In a correspondence addressed to his collaborators Wednesday, March 24, Minad Bo says it has come to his notice some pastors mostly from revival churches with no legal existence preach against instructions given by the head of state to curb the spread of COVID-19. According to Minister Paul Athanganji, such churches that defy COVID-19 preventive measures should be closed and pastors arrested and brought before competent authorities. And to this sad news, death has been announced of Honorable Prince Mikadi Anjube, the youngest member of Cameroon in Cameroon's lower house. Sources say the member of parliament for Bumba and Goko constituents in the East Region died Wednesday, March 24, 2021, at the Gainoko Obstetric General Hospital in Gosu after a brief illness. Honorable Mikadi was member of the Committee for Economic Affairs Programming and regional planning. Out of the country, at least three civilians have been killed and five others wounded after a barrage targeted a barrage of mothers targeted the headquarters of the United Nations and African Union peacekeeping mission forces located in the Somali capital of Mogadishu. Local media report that several mother shells landed in a residential area near Adant Adedil International Airport in the capital city. The attack targeted the United Nations compound which houses several western diplomatic missions including those of the united kingdom and the united states of america this is the second time the u.n compound has been targeted in less than a week following the march 19 attack with no reported casualties 
Now, Mozambique's defense ministry says Islamist militants carried out attacks in the northern town of Parma, close to a multi-billion dollar gas project run by French oil giant Total. The ministry spokesman Omar Sangrangia said they are yet to know of any casualties from the attack because the area is unreachable by telephone. The attack comes as after Total announced the resumption of work of the gas project located on the Afungi Peninsula. And the governor of Kenya's western Kisuma County has suspended local officials who filmed on Wednesday dragging a fruit vendor along the road. Local media report that the woman had refused to give a bribe as she was selling oranges and lemons on a pavement in the city where hawking is prohibited. According to the lady, one of the officials one of the officials at the back of the pickup truck held her hand and refused to let her go as the vehicle speed off. Following the incident, Governor Anya Nyongo was suspended from duty all officials involved until investigations are conducted. That ends a 3.30 p.m. edition of Prime Flash on my media, Prime Television. The news was compiled and produced by Ewan and Nolinga Ella. Developments of these stories and more will be yours at exactly 6.30 p.m. with Genda, Pelt and Blanche. My name is Von Quinta. We'll meet again tomorrow at exactly 3.30 a.m. on what's making news in and out of the country. Until then, goodbye.